Today on the channel, we're looking at one of the OG-13, one of the initial characters of the G.I. Joe team. Today, we're looking at Robert Grunt Graves, on the way I got it figured. The way I got it figured. What's up, figure fans? But I got it figured back with another G.I. Joe Classified Series review. This time, we're looking at good old Grunt. Um, number 87. So, um, Grunt is a character who was uh, initially um, introduced in 1982 with the rollout of G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero. And, um, you know, he was a highly anticipated figure by me. But even I couldn't have known that we were going to be getting him for eleven ninety nine. Um, So when they came into our area, my good buddy Phil over at Crossfire Collectibles called me up and said, Hey, man, I think I know where some grunts are. Um, you know, I'm going to go get one. So he did, and of course he grabbed, grabbed one for me. And uh, here's my review. He did his review, of course, already. Um, but I wanted to get mine out as well. So again, one of the original Joes. Um, not necessarily what I would call a perennial all-star, but definitely not some unknown um, bit player in the G.I. Joe universe. Um, in the comic book series, Grunt was front and center uh, for the first 20 or so issues. Um, then in the early 40s, he had did his tour of duty and he went to MIT uh, for college. And then um, for different things, he came back when, they, when the team needed him for, for help uh, here and there. And in further adventures, he became a, a, a senator and all that kind of stuff. But anytime the Joes needed him, you know, he would come back. He did get another figure in the G.I. Joe Real American Hero line in 1989. Um, no, I'm sorry, 1991, they made a grunt figure. He was an infantry squad leader in that second version. But we're going. We're kicking it sort of old school, but with an update with this new classified series version. Uh, so let's get take a look. Well, first let's take a look at the packaging. All right. So here's Grunt's package, and he's looking pretty good on here. So as you can see. Um, the action figure photography is strong on the new G.I. Joe Classified Series packaging. I don't see any overt Easter eggs on this one. Some sort of crashed vehicle that I don't recognize. Helicopter, maybe. Another helicopter in the background. And they've got Grunt looking pretty sharp, carrying his XLMR. AKA the cartoon laser rifle. And, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. Here we see it comes with a number of accessories, including an additional head, the Steel Corps or Steel Brigade helmet. Can't legally call it Steel Brigade anymore. And some pretty nice inset art here of grunt maybe this might be one of the best ones i've seen on the side we have a larger portrait of grunt same one as the inset on this side you got his collector's number and the qr code which i'll leave up there with very small versions of his attributes then we've got um, sort of the specifications for this figure. So he's, he says it's a 6'3". Comes with a helmet. 
a then additional head, backpack, knife, XLMR3, and a, uh, I forget what the newer version of this video, M, uh, M4, it's sort of like a upgraded M16, and a pistol, and of course you got your insets there. I'm looking at his file card stats. He's got ones and everything, as they really do like to devalue the lower the uh, the, the original Joes. One infantry, one small weapons, one hand-to-hand -hand combat, and one artillery. So, finally taking a closer look at Grunt himself. He's got the Joe Pro on him. And um, as everybody knows by now, he's got the E4 Graves on his vest. Got an extra belt here with a holster on the back. Two pouches, I guess they're ammo pouches. And he looks, uh, you know, he looks good. He's very, very nice update. He's got on gloves. And two-tone boots. So looking right off the bat, um, you know, he is clearly... The body is uh, is is based off the stalker body, so it's it's stalker as it should be because the original thirteen Joes, the males anyway, um, all of them except a few uh, had basically the same the same outfit with some variations. And instead of giving him the web gear like Snake Eyes and Stalker have already gotten, they gave him an updated um, vest web gear and uh, and just sort of modernized them, but yet kept that classic feel to them. And I think that they did a good job with that. That that's what I like, you know. Rock and roll, they they totally redesigned them. Um, they modernized them and that and that was cool too but um but i like that they didn't 100 percent redesign uh grunt they gave him the same outfit but updated gear to go around that outfit that's that's just as as good i like both so i'm happy with that Well, actually, you should look at his articulation. Um, so, you know, I, I hate to bore you with the normal articulation thing. Everybody does it. Um, but you get the same level of articulation you do on him as you do any other Joe figure. Of course, his um, ab crunch is severely hampered by the, the type of vest that he wears. But other than that, it's the usual G.I. Joe Classified Series articulation. I mean, we, we, we've seen this figure. I've done this articulation twice before. So, three times really because Dusty has the same pants. So there you go. I'm not going to bore you with a full articulation breakdown because it's the same as what we've seen with Stalker, Snake Eyes, and Dusty. So looking at his accessories, he comes with... Whoop,
So looking at his accessories, he comes with a nice pistol. Does have a blast effect port. A small combat knife. A modern helmet. A steel core helmet. For various uses. Uh, you know, if you want to army build this figure, you can do that. Just got to get rid of the graves or not. You can just ignore it. Or it could be steel grunt with a steel core helmet. And of course, the backpack, pretty standard backpack, but it does have the ports on the side to hold weapons. Then we've got his M4. It's a little. A little bent in the back but not in the front and it was just free floating in the in the bag it's not like they did the cardboard or whatever to keep it straight it's just sort of free floating in the in the bag but you know a little heat we'll take care of that then we've got a magazine a clip i like to call it a clip to stick into the rifle. And then my favorite thing, the XLMR 3 laser rifle um, that initially came with Snow Job back in 1983 and then became sort of like the, the weapon du jour on uh, the G.I. Joe cartoon series. So yeah, it's a little bent here, but again, some heat will take care of that. And it does of course have a blast effect port. Let's look at the accessories. We're gonna get him geared up. Be right back. Here we have Grunt geared up um he can extort store all of his accessories on his person and that's pretty cool um because of the backpack mainly and he looks uh he looks he looks great better you know better geared up than he does even without being geared up and i didn't take a good look at his portrait but it's a decent portrait some people are even using it to swap it out for Falcon. I'm not going to do that, but, um, but you know, it does work. And he's got his data pad here. And the in, as, a, as the insert on the back, the inset on the back of the box shows, you know, it's got some information being shown on it and you would think that the knife you know might prevent it from opening and shutting but it doesn't so there's that then uh what we can do here tight it's actually on there though didn't pop into place but it's on there Joe Grunt with his uh, steel core helmet
which again adds a little bit more of an update to them. If you want to run running around in a field like that, you can do that. Um, personally, I still prefer them to run around with the other helmet, but it doesn't look bad. It looks it looks fine. Very satisfying pop. All right, now we will do some comparisons. Some good old grunt. Okay, so first we're going to bring in the grunt. Stalker. Because they're on the exact same body, they are pretty much the exact same height. And of course, I'm not going to miss an opportunity to bring in Snake Eyes. Once again, same body, same height. And just to show for certain that they are indeed the same body, you can see the arms are exactly the same. Remove Grunt's helmet. Stalker's beret. You can see that the collar is the exact same. And the pants are the exact same as well as the boots. So they are you know, same figure, basically. But hey, that's part of G.I. Joe. And that'll do it for that. So I'm going to move on to Final Thoughts. Final Thoughts on Robert Grunt Greaves, number 87 in the G.I. Joe Classified Series line. I mean, he's, you know, he's everything that you expect. It's a great figure. Um, a nice modern take on a classic character, keeping the classic characteristics with some, you know, 2023 up, upgrades. Um, you know, He's definitely one of the best releases of the year, despite the fact of, of him being on kind of a standard body. With the 13 original Joes, you kind of expect that. Um, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Um, you know, you might not think that he's all that, you know, big of a character or whatever. But I personally do rank the 13 original Joes, um, you know, evenly with some of the, you know, top characters in G.I. Joe, simply by virtue that they're part of the OG 13. In my, in my world, it's a subset of G.I. Joe that you could collect just the 13 original Joes and be done. Like, yeah, I got the 13 and... That's a collection unto itself. Um, this one, the, the ankles are a little weird on them. It's not the figure to me. I don't have them set up. His ankles set up exactly right, but he does stand. It's just sort of me not standing up correctly. Um, so yeah, that's Grunt. I'm very happy with the figure. I think anybody that gets them will be. 
as evidenced by people buying 20 and everything so they can army build a character that's not an army builder obviously people like them especially at 11.99 at the time of me doing this video though target has uh corrected the flaw in their system and he is now uh 24.99 like every other gi joe classified figure so if you didn't get them if you snoozed you lose um so i was very happy to take a get a break on a gi joe classified figure at 11.99 that's gonna do it for this video thanks so much for tuning in watching the videos um if you are new to the channel obviously uh subscribe like the video leave a comment how do you feel about grunt how do you feel about gi joe classified how do you feel about the original 13 anything you know let me know let's talk about it and uh if you have been rocking with me, you already know the drill there, too. Till next time, everybody stay safe. I do mean that. And I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. The way I got it figured.